Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a what I got in my family stocking video. My family consists of Carter and I and his kids, which are my stepkids, in order. Josh, who is 18, Jeremiah, who is 14, and Elijah, who is 8. And this is what our stockings look like. We got these stockings at Kohl's and um, we got them in 2016. They still have them because I saw them there the other day when we were shopping. They're super sturdy, really big, and such great material. They will last a really long time. Um, this one is actually for Cooper and Grace. Um, they share a stocking. And then the stockings that are for all of us look like this. They just have um, a monogrammed initial on them. So this one is mine. K is for Kira. The other ones have C, J's, and an E. But this is what they look like up close. They're just super cute, like this little knitted style. So before I get into um, everything that I got for everyone in their stocking, I just wanted to say this year we didn't put a whole bunch of candy in the stocking. The last two years, um, we would just load the stockings down with a bunch of candy. And I started thinking this year, I'm gonna put, we need to put something in there that they can use and it's gonna be more efficient. There are a couple of pieces of candy because who can go through Christmas without their stocking having some candy in it? but it's mainly full of things that they can use or that will benefit them. So I'm gonna start off with Elijah who is eight. Now we got each of the boys um, a pair of socks, but these are Elijah's, his are the Nike brand. It comes with three pairs, he's always missing his or they end up having holes in them. And everything I got here is from Kohl's except for the candy, the candy is from Walmart. The next thing that I got Elijah, I'm not going to talk too much on because it is um, personal, but I just we just got him some underwear because he's always naked for underwear. The next item that I got is actually from Walmart. It's this huge pencil. It was like 90 something cents last year and I saw it and I remember getting these in my stocking when I was younger. They just have little snowmen on it and I just thought it was so cool. He's at that age where this is still kind of neat so I decided to grab this for him last year and put it in his stocking this year. It also comes with a little pencil sharpener. The next item that we got Elijah is this Cong Contigo cup. That was Grace. Is this Contigo cup. It looks like this and it kind of just pops open with this little button and you can push it down right there. We got him a cup last year also and these are um, pretty expensive if you grab a nice cup. They can range between eight and to twelve dollars but I promise they will last such a long time. The one we got him has lasted two years so far and is still standing really good. He takes it everywhere we go when we go to the gym and stuff so I figured cup these cups are a good idea and instead of buying those like cheap 96 cent ones that are cute though they have cartoons on them but these ones will last so much longer the next item that I have for Elijah is in all of the boys' stockings but they're all different and I will get around to that but this one is Elijah's it is a pop socket it just goes on the back of your phone so you can pretty much have like a better grip on it I think you can also maybe wrap your headphones around it and stuff the next item in Elijah's stocking is these UNO cards. We decided to get him something that we can all play together. It'll keep us off electronics because we're all usually on our phone or the boys are usually on the Xbox. And this is just something we can all sit down and do together as a family and play. I haven't played UNO since I was really little so I picked these up to put in his stocking. The last final item that is um, a non-edible item is going to be this Deadpool watch. This is the box that it came in and you open it up and it's so cool. Look at that. He's going to love it. He absolutely loves Deadpool. We actually don't let him watch it, but he has seen like previews and he has like a backpack and stuff like that. Now I'm going to get into the candy side of his stocking. Most of the kids got the same stuff in their stocking candy wise, but this is one thing that we got him that was different than the rest of the kids and it is this Pez. I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid. They're so good and when I saw this, I was thinking of myself, but I got it for Elijah and it took everything in me not to put this in my stocking, but look, the little Pez dispenser is like a little Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. And I think there should be another one in there. I don't know. No, there's not. And it just comes with three, I think like six little candy Pezzes in there, but I thought that was so cool. I had to grab that. The next three items are in all of the kids' stockings. So I bought one pack of ring pops and it comes with four in there. So I split it in between the three of them. I did eat the other one because if I didn't, it wouldn't be even. So you gotta do what you gotta do. So there's a ring pop 
and then these Krabby Patty candy gummies, which they always love. And then last but not least is the, the traditional candy cane with the candy in it because every Christmas must consist of these candy cane candies. The next stocking I'm going to move on to is Jeremiah, who is 14. He recently just started working out with Carter. Carter tries to get all of his boys to work out with him around age 12, and Jeremiah's really been enjoying it. So some of the stuff or one of the items in his um, bag is workout related. But I'm going to start off. We got them all socks. So here is Jeremiah's socks. He's into like the colored socks and stuff like that. But these are also Nike. They just say, just do it on it. I also just wanted to point out that all three boys like the high top socks. So they're all long socks. The next item for Jeremiah is this shaker cup. Um, we don't let him drink pre-workout, but we do let him drink like protein and stuff like that. So you can put your protein powders in here or he can just have like a drink in here. You know, you can't go wrong with a cup, but we figured since he's into working out more, we would get him a workout cup. The next item for Jeremiah is this pop socket, just like the one I showed you previously, except his has lightning bolts on it. His mom actually got him a new iPhone 6, so this will go with his new iPhone. And in addition to his new iPhone, we bought him a case from Amazon. Um, it is in the box. I don't want to take it out, but it's just a black case that will go around the back of his phone and hug the sides of it. The next item we got him are these elf playing cards. We all love the movie Elf and always get a big kick out of it, but we decided we could also get them cards. We got the older boys cards so that we can all sit around and play cards together and be able to spend time together away from the electronics. The final non-edible item in Jeremiah's stocking is going to be this fish, fish face. Um, I'm gonna say it is is this fish face brand true utility um, it is a multifunctional micro multi tool um, Carter picked this out for the older boys they each have one but I will show you Josh's in a minute but this is what it looks like and it can pretty much go on a keychain it says it has 18 tools in one um, flat driver wrenches a hex drive bicycle spoke spanner pry bar, file, nail cleaner, bottle opener, box opener, flight safe cutter, black titanium coated stainless steel is the material it's made out of, but these are always pretty cool and it, it, it'll just go perfect in their stocking. So Carter picked this out for them. Okay, starting off with the candy now, Jeremiah has these blow pop minis. He just got his braces off. So all of this perfect sticky candy is gonna be perfect for him. Um, this stuff is actually really good, but I can't eat it yet because I have my braces, which should be coming off next month. So look forward to that vlog. The next candy item is the Krabby Patty candy. And then, of course, a ring pop and then the Jelly Bean Starburst candy cane. The next stocking is going to be Joshua's, who is 19 now. And we're going to start off with his socks. We got his in white and gray. They are also long socks and they are also Nike. The next item is going to be the shaker cup. It's very similar to Jeremiah's. It's actually probably the same as Jeremiah's because they didn't have any other colors. So we just did what we had to do and we can probably just write an initial on the bottom to tell them apart if it becomes a big deal. But Joshua loves working out. He's been working out since he was like 13. That's all he does is live, breathe, is live, breathe, and eat at the gym. So we got him a shaker cup. The next item is also playing cards. It just has different characters on it. The item is the same thing as Jeremiah's. It's the fixer tool. And this one says it has 20 tools and one, which you wouldn't think something so small would be able to do so much apparently. But um, this is pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to go over it again because I don't want to re read it. It looks like it has a ruler in it um, and maybe like a small hammer in it. But this one's Josh's. We also got Josh a pop socket. So they all three have one. These are super um, dandy. So the next item we got him is these razors. You can never go wrong with razors with older boys. And man, it's always like a staple for a stocking. And the last non-edible item is going to be this wallet. This is what Josh's wallet looks like. It's just a, I guess you call it a trifold or something. I'm not really sure what you call them, but it's just very compact and small. It is in the brand Van Heusen. 
And then of course, just the three stapled candies, the candy cane, the blow pop, and the Krabby Patties are in his stocking as well. Now I'm gonna move on to Carter's stocking. It's always difficult to find him stuff for his stocking. Um, this year he didn't get much, but it is, um, it will fill his stocking up because a lot of them are bulkier items. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is just underwear. The next thing I'm going to add is razors, of course, just like I said with Josh, you can never go wrong with them for the older boys or men in your life. So along with the razors, I got him some aftershave. He actually picked this one out. I don't know if it's any good or not. We usually get the Gillette or the, um, what is it called? The Gillette or the Old Spice one, but he picked this one out, so we're gonna try this one. Um, we'll see, let you guys know how that goes. And then he, and then Carter also picked this out for his stocking, which is another one of the fixer, but this one's called Skeleton Knife, actually. So he pretty much picked him out a knife. And there is Grace after she's been meowing this whole time. The next item I got is this back massager. It is the quad mini massager. It kind of vibrates for your back. Carter is all up in this massage stuff lately. Like I just got him a little back roller the other day and it was supposed to go in his stocking, but he said he wanted it now. So I've been using the back roller one on him every night because we do work out a lot. We always have stress knots. So we got him two massagers, but one of them's already out of his stocking. The last final item that is not edible is a wallet and it's by Dockers. For the past three years, I have gotten him a wallet for Christmas every year. These are his favorite ones. They always look just alike, pretty much. It looks just like that. This is where he keeps his cards, and his ID will be in there, and it just opens up. Plain. This is the one he goes for. Don't know why. This is his favorite, favorite type of wallet, though. For Carter, it was pretty simple because his absolute favorite go-to candy that you can never go wrong with during Christmas time is the Reese's Christmas Trees. So I got him a whole pack of these to go in his stocking so he'll be set for a couple of days. The next candy item that I got him is the Swedish Fish. He absolutely loves Swedish Fish. I also got him orange slices. These are his three favorite candies and he already took the orange slices out and he's already eaten them. So Christmas needs to hurry up or he's not gonna have anything in his stocking. I really quick just wanted to add in one more thing that is in Carter's stocking stuffer. Um, I forgot to mention it because I just now got it in the mail and I completely forgot about it. But I did order him this workout cup. I got him one last year and he left at the gym and someone stole it unfortunately. So I did get him another one. And it's a grenade and it's in his favorite color because he is a veteran. But I really wanted to get him another one of these. I thought it was so cool. Last but not least is going to be Cooper's stocking. We do get him stuff for his stocking every year. Now I just got Cooper stuff this year because last year we bought Grace those pre-stockings and I only give her half of the toys. And this year I'll probably just put more of those toys in the stocking this year. Little round balls that have bells in them and she can play with them and stuff. Two of hers have already broke within the last two weeks. So I'll probably just put a couple more in those. And then like these little Christmas little decoration, these little Christmas teddy bear things that came in there. They're like this big and perfect for cats. So I just have to stocking. So half of it was for last year and the other half I'll use for this year. And it's all in the color pink. For Cooper, I just got him this little sensory play toy. It has all sorts of different materials on it because he loves chewing on all sorts of different things. He likes to chew the little tails off of his stuffed animals and stuff and he likes those hard bones and stuff. So I figured this toy would actually would be absolutely perfect for him and it also has like a squeaker in the head but I'm not gonna squeak it or he'll want it and he'll know it's his. The next thing I got for Cooper is these tinsel treats. They're pumpkin and peanut butter flavor. They're corn free and soy free and the packaging was super cute so I grabbed these for him. The last bag of treats we got him were for Thanksgiving and they were the pumpkin spiced um, dental treats so we always try to give him dental treats because Shizus are very bad about getting tartar on their teeth for some reason and by the time they're three years old they usually always need um, dental surgery or a dental cleaning so we always try to stay on top of that. Which brings me to this gift right here which is just the greenies and it came in a little candy cane. I couldn't pass them up. That's so cute. I absolutely love the candy cane stocking stuffer so I did grab him this as well. So I also just want to add like these two little dog toys that are in the back right here. They're from my other dog, Casera, who my mom keeps now, but she is bringing her down um, when she comes down here for Christmas. So I'm going to give those two toys for her. 
So I just want to say every year is different for their stockings. Like I said, last year we put just a whole bunch of candy in there. But this year I wanted to put more stuff in there that will benefit them and be useful for them and that they can use for more than just a couple of days. I didn't show you guys what I got in my stocking because after Christmas I think I'm going to do a video of what I got for Christmas. And I will give you guys a video about that and show you everything that I got for Christmas and that I got in my stocking. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification. If you have any video recommendations or ideas for me, please leave them down below and I'll definitely keep them in mind because I would really appreciate um, your input. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.